Brandon, someone did ask if you can use the calculator. So that's uh, obviously a question we've all seen many, many times. Um, and you can, you will have a calculator on your screen. Uh, someone else is asking, do we have a square root button in the test calculator? And, uh, and, and, to, and to my knowledge, you do. It, you do, uh, people have shared pictures of, I think, the drop down calculator. I'm going to go ahead and do that right now because okay. I have a picture of that calculator. Mm -hmm. So let's see. I might have one too, John. Can you guys see that pretty clearly? I can, yeah. And I imagine they're going to be able to see it in a few seconds okay. once the stream. So you do. So you do have a square root button here. Um, other than that, it's kind of the four function calculator with the math or the uh, multiplication division, subtraction and addition. And then you do also have a percent button. Um, and then Brandon, you know, if you're seeing that these ones up here on the top, I don't know if those are relevant to questions you'll have on the T's. Or... Uh, nope. Uh, the only ones that I do is the C and the CE. I just, and I, I'm like everybody. I, I don't know if you touched a, a calculator like this with that C button. I just press it five or six times real quick to clear out my stuff. I never use the M's okay. on these basic four functions. So, so what you'll have uh, for everybody watching um, that is beyond kind of those four uh, multiplication, division, subtraction, addition buttons is a square root button and a percent button. So, um, would those kind of come in handy at different points, Brandon? Yes. And, and my only uh, concern here, like I, I've, uh, it, I've been teaching T's math courses for a long time, um, even before I started doing videos on YouTube. Um, but I've I've never sat down with this calculator, um, this because it has changed over the years. Yep. And the way you type, here's what I'm thinking. Now I'm going to pull up something. Let's just kind of talk about how do we get the square root. Now don't freak out about this. The main thing I want y'all to see is on this calculator I have here. This is my square root button. And here's how I'm thinking you will have to take the square root. Let's just start with a basic example. Suppose I wanted to find the square root of 25. Now, five times five gives us 25. What I do, and what I'm thinking you're going to do on your T's calculator, type in the number first and then just press that button and watch what happens. When I press that button, boom, that tells me the square root of 25 is five. If I tried 49, Type in my 49 first, bang on that button, we get seven, okay. which this they've can be that. very helpful. Do what now? So they've got that square root button. If they type in 49, the square root, they'll get. And then that's what I'm, and the people that I have been tutoring, they said that that's how they've been tackling it too. Um, okay. But see, some people said they never had to take a square root and it varies from student to student. Um, hey, while you've got this up, there's a comment here. Uh, someone asking, how do you type a negative number? On the calculator. Oh, uh, we can't. <laughs> uh, what we would do, it, it, it was funny. I was talking to a student the other day. Let me go back to the basic. I mean, you could you do like uh, you know eleven minus ten and get there. A you or yeah, like take like five minus eight. I'm forcing the negative on the calculator. And then you can multiply. And divide. then if I wanted to multiply that by five, then bam, we get negative fifteen. So you kind of have to force. Now my calculator has a plus minus, okay. um, but. The T's calculator, to my knowledge, it does not have that button up there, that picture we just looked at. Yeah, let's take, I'll just confirm that real quick. Mm -hmm. Again. I don't see it. Yeah, so it looks like uh, just the minus sign. Yeah. So you have to do that uh, roundabout. And, and I'm I'm hoping this it brings up a good question. I ha, I've not been asked that about working with negatives. Try to force it, and, and like if you wanted to get a negative one, just force it by instead of taking two minus one, that gives you one. Force it, like do one minus two, and now we do have our negative one up there. Okay, but once you had that negative number, then yes, you can start adding, subtracting, multiplying, dividing. Um, but yeah. And that's the best answer I got there. Is that okay?